dog for a few days. Her name's Millie and she likes to be in the blanket like this. I have castor oil all over my hair so I need to take a shower. I'll be wrong with you Like a fire on a cold night Like Sinatra on a long drive We have recently developed a really amazing morning routine. We've been waking up at like 5 a.m. every morning. <laughs> <laughs> and then we start by doing a morning workout for usually like an hour sometimes even two hours and we'll do like a seven mile run <laughs> so we write like five page essays every morning <laughs> i was trying to do that thing where you like lie about something to the camera and see how the person beside you responds but i just can't because i laugh too much Oh, I thought we were doing this for the people. What do you mean for the people? For the people. Like where we were lying to them? Oh, you were gonna do it? No, like as a joke and then we'll be like, no, this is our actual morning routine. Oh. <laughs> no, yeah, that's not our morning routine. But we have been trying to wake up earlier and it's like 7.30 a.m. right now. If you're wondering why I look crazy, I have <laughs> castor oil all over my hair. You've already said that. I just didn't know if you were gonna keep that clip in. And I need you to, <laughs> to talk about it. Last night we did a bunch of errands and we came back here super late. And so the van is a mess. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is clean up the van. Time to clean the kitchen. Together we could see where the road will lead to the unknown. There is no end Sometimes at night, either I'll cook or Sarah will cook. And once in a while, the other person who has to do the dishes after vetoes cleaning. So it gets pushed off till the morning. And it doesn't happen very often, but today is one of those days. And I made pasta with bolognese sauce last night. So Sarah is gonna do the dishes. <laughs> Let's do it. Standing in my own belief, swinging from the willow tree. Friends have awoken. Thought of almost everything. 
So we finished our morning routine and before we make drinks or coffee, we're gonna shower because we desperately need it. I have this water heater and it takes about 15 minutes to heat up a gallon of water and it honestly gets it extremely hot, which is amazing. And I have an outdoor shower in the back. So I'm going to turn this on. We're gonna wait 15 minutes and then we're gonna have some hot showers. Oh my, babe, I can't. I don't know if I can that. I'm literally dating a black bear. A black bear? Yeah, I feel like you have black bear energy. That was such an amazing shower. It was a little cold, even though I turned on the water heater. If the air is cold outside, in between showering, it will be really cold. So I didn't take a super long shower and I also tried to conserve water. I used my new shampoo and conditioner bars by the brand Earth & Co. I've been using them for over a year now and I am obsessed with their shampoo and conditioner bars, but it was time for me to get some new ones. I got the scent that I always get, honestly. It is the scent Vanilla Coconut for the shampoo and conditioner bars and for my body bar I got the scent lemon poppy seed I have also been using their dish soap and I have a new bamboo brush by them for my kitchen and it also has a reusable head so whenever I'm done with that I can just take the head off and order a new one Earth & Co is not only eco-friendly and 100% plastic free but their products just last so much longer than the average shampoo and conditioner bottle or dish soap like that dish Dish soap lasts me so long every time I get it and the shampoo and conditioner bars last like 50 to 70 washes and that's because normal shampoo and conditioner bottles are a majority water so you're not even really getting what you pay for whereas these bars are so amazing because they are concentrated and there's not a bunch of water in them I also love them because every time I travel international I just bring those bars on my trips and I don't have to worry about a max limit of liquid or anything like that and it will definitely last my whole trip and yeah, I'm just overall so obsessed with them. So if you're interested in Earthling Co., I have a link in my description to go check them out. I cannot recommend them enough. They're honestly my favorite brand that I've discovered in the last couple years. But now that I am clean and I have showered, I am going to make some juice for Tori and I. This juice recipe is my all-time favorite. I make it all the time. It has pineapple, lemon, ginger, and a yellow bell pepper. breakfast right now for Sarah and I but it's a really late breakfast because it's 11 a.m. we usually don't really eat like breakfast anyway so I'm gonna make a lunch and I'm gonna do Middle Eastern style flatbread wraps it's gonna have flatbread spinach avocado chili onion sauce uh, tofu I'm gonna like put a bunch of seasoning on it and make it really yummy some dill pickle hummus cucumbers with jalapeno and a tomato and yeah let's get started I wanna get ahead of myself but I can't help it can't forget how it felt I forget out from the back of the shelf playing it cool trying to catch my Behind my back Hoping that this time I won't crack Under the weight I'm feeling like a wreck But 
When I look at myself, I know I'm better than last year when I disappeared Shaking up and full of fear, it took a while for me to get back up Back up, get myself back together I totally forgot that I got vegan tzatziki sauce, especially for this meal. Okay, we have our juice, and we also have our Mediterranean wraps. I love the juice. No, it's really good. Tori and I kind of split up roles on what we do. Like, if we have coffee in the morning, she always makes the coffee. I don't think I've ever made coffee, and I always make the juice. I don't think you've ever made juice. It's kind of funny how we naturally, like, split things up. Dude, this is so good. It's so good. I want to have this all the time now. Yeah, we should. It's honestly really easy, too. Mm-hmm. 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 The bread is amazing. Mm-hmm. Wow, it's so good. It's so satisfying to cook something for yourself that's like really good, like restaurant grade, mm -hmm. you know? Because then you're like, yeah. I feel like it makes my day better mm -hmm. when I like make good things for myself. Today's a good day. Mm -hmm. And it's the full moon. Your moon cycle is complete. It is a moon cycle. It's a moon cycle, for sure. Is that why it's called a moon cycle? Mm -hmm. Do all women sync up with the moon? In different patterns. So you could figure out which moon you're synced with. Tori's moon cycle is synced with the full moon. Yeah, it's really on incredible. the dot. Like on the dot every single time. <laughs> to a point where we're not even synced up, and we should be, because we spend so much time together, but Tori's more synced to the moon. <laughs> the full moon. Sarah likes to joke that I have a love affair with the moon. Yeah. And I'm she not does. denying it. <laughs> I have been living in my van for over three years now. The first couple years of my journey, I was on the road alone, but afterwards I met my now girlfriend Tori while I was in Austin, Texas. We were long distance for several months, but now she's traveling with me in my van for the foreseeable future. And if I'm being honest, it took a while to adjust. We were bickering and fighting more than usual, which makes a lot of sense because the van is a really small space to be in 24 seven with someone. Since we were fighting more than usual, we decided to analyze our daily routines and make some changes. The first thing we realized we needed was more alone time. Now we try to get at least an hour of quality alone time each day. Of course, we don't always do this, but we notice a big difference when we do. We track how much alone time we're getting in both of our individual bullet journals, along with our other goals and habits. Anyways, this morning we were able to squeeze in a little bit of alone time before we drove to another campsite for the day. Before I wrap up this video, I have some really exciting news to share with all of you. Tori and I are going to be hosting a group trip with our good friend Maddie Taylor. We are going to be going to Bali, Indonesia with up to 25 or 30 of you guys. We'll be doing fun activities like going on temple tours, surfing, doing cooking classes, community dinners, visiting rice fields, going to the sacred monkey forest, and attending coffee workshops. If you're interested in going on this trip with us, check out the link in my description. I am so excited for the opportunity to meet and travel with some of you guys. And as usual, thank you so much for watching and being here on my journey. I'll see you guys next Sunday in my next video. Have a beautiful week. Bye!